Okay, hi everybody. Road trip. I've got my sofa. Got my passenger. I don't know if I can show the sofa. I don't know if you can hear me. But sound issues have been really bad lately as I'm testing microphones and I now I'm wearing a mask. So it's just... Uh, well, I was just told I could get my mask off while driving, but it's still going to be a sound issue when we get to where we're going to. Uh, the last time I went to my local garden center was on the 11th of March. Yes. And then two days later, our world came to a grinding halt. So I thought it's time to get some supplies without doing some shipping and I don't know what they have. So it's a little bit of a discovery for me and take you along. No beach today. Look at this. We have a cloudy day. It's hot and muggy. I love it because it reminds me of my Kenya. And it rained again. Yesterday morning we had a little bit of rain. And today we have more rain. But not much. Not enough. Definitely not enough. And where are all these people coming from? Spain has been blacklisted as a travel destination. And um, here we are. Can you imagine what it would be like if everybody were to be just arriving like they would every year? This is crazy. This is nuts. This doesn't make sense. All the European countries have blacklisted us because of spontaneous outbreaks in very, very localized areas. And... Um, yeah, look at this. This is nuts. I mean, I'm kind of glad because normally the shops shouldn't be so full, but I went grocery shopping yesterday. No, two days ago. Sorry. And I just thought, that's a lot of people. Look at this traffic for a country that has been blacklisted. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. Our economy needs it, that's for sure. But still... So we're going west, and if we were to continue another 35 minutes, we would reach Gibraltar. But that's not what we're doing today. As far as I'm concerned, I just need to go like in and out. But we'll see what they have. I could actually walk to this place. The problem is carrying my goods back. That's a little bit more complicated. Going there is not the problem. Coming back is. And here you see on the right, the mountains of the Sierra Bermeja. Quite pretty. Lots of fires happen in that area. Lots of bushfires. Whoa! Excuse me. It's the first time I'm vlogging in a car. I don't have an anti-shake gimbal. The one my daughter has, it is so complicated. I'm not too savvy on it. I tried it and it just kept flipping on me and I'm like, okay, maybe next time. So we'll do the anti-shake and walk slowly. And I don't know if I can record in here. This is where we're going. Oops, behind the bougainvillea there. I don't know if I can record in there. I shall ask. But if not, then at least you know how to get there, <laughs> if nothing else, how to get there. So... The place is called Agro Jardin, and it's come a long way. It was one of the first garden centers to actually become a garden center of a real big conventional sense. The owner used to own a very small little lot of land. Look at this bougainvillea, the size of it. Wow. Squirrel. I digress. Um... And then he was booted out because the municipality wanted it. And they gave him this crummy little piece of land right by a river. And he made lemonade out of lemons. It's absolutely beautiful. The selection might not be something for an orchid grower paradise. But what he has done out of a crummy little piece of lot that he was given that the municipality thought would never amount to anything, I give him props. So we have parked, thank you very much, 
and let's see if we can go inside and record. So the, behind here, let me just take you here. Now I'm wearing the mask. So behind here is this vegetation of just river, big riverbed. And of course, in August now, it's all dried up. But in the winter, all this can flood. All of this was once flooded up to the wall that you can see over here. So that's why they made a retaining wall there, which should stand the test of time. Ooh, orchids. Oh, orchids. Hey, qué bonito. Oh, were they the silk ones? <laughs> but yeah, so here we are. Sorry, I don't want to film people. I mean, I can edit them out, but the people won't know that I'm doing that. <clears throat> Here's a gorgeous little cafe with a tiki bar. Really well done. More people. And then you come inside oh, into the cool heavens. Whoops. No carts. Super interesting. All right. Uh, that's me next and uh, we'll be back. Right. So I got permission. We can do this. So right in the entrance here, you're going to see a refrigerated area for beautiful, beautiful blooms. And this is where they have their cut flower arrangements. And then here over to the left, I'm going to try and be a little bit slower. All the four blooms, fake flowers and decorations. It's really pretty. Ceramic pots, fake moss. And I hope that the lighting is okay. And a lot has changed since I was here last. You can see some wicker baskets. That's pretty too. Ooh, ooh, that's cool. I wonder if it's meant to be like that. You got other things that are not collapsed. Super. Ooh, could you imagine this? Oh, in the garden, set in concrete, or even in that pot as it is, and then just mount orchids on it. Oh, that would be awesome. I love it. In the right climate. Wow. Oh, more. Look at this. Look at this tree trunk. This is amazing. I love it. What do they want for something like this? Okay. Well. So I remember all of this. All these ceramic parts. And you know me, if you've been watching my channel, I'm white. I'm all about white. I used to be all about silver. Everything used to be silver and gray and blue, but I'm all about white. But these are ceramic. The ones I'm looking for are not in this section, but I don't know where they are because some things have been shifted. Ooh, ooh. Okay, there's a reason I'm here as well. Okay, you see how cool this would be as a hanging plant, cascading plant pot. You already got the hangers. Hmm, things that make you go, hmm. I like it. It probably would rust. Thoughts and thoughts and thoughts. Ooh, but look over here. <gasps> here we have options. Oh my. And we have them in square. <gasps> you guys. You guys. I, by Jove, I think I've got it. And it's already sort of like galvanized. I think this might just work. <clears throat> now I have to find my shopper. She's got the buggy. So let's see. Yeah, I think that's going to work. And we're going to need two. And I like the square. So that's what we're going to do. Woohoo! Actually, I feel as though we can go home now. Look at that little cloches. Cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. Ah, these little buckets. Ooh, look at these little pour water cans. Oh. Oh, I love it. Much needed. Much needed retail therapy for the eyes. Those secateurs are nice. Hmm. Oh, look at these funky secateurs. Ha! <laughs> They're cool. Shame that the shovel is so cute. You just take off, you know, once you use it, it just comes right off. But aren't they sweet? I love it. A bit unusual there. Okay, where's my shopping cart? Where did she go? Okay, so then they also have horse riding stuff. This is a beautiful section. When I come here, I'm so sad that I can't ride anymore. Look at that, even the name, Leckerlis. That is goodies or yummies or treats in German. Yeah, I can't ride anymore because of my back, but it was fun while it lasted. That is so neat. Now I will be editing, if I catch people on camera, I will be editing them out. But in the meantime, I really need to find where my personal shopper buggy person has gone. In the far back where we didn't go, it all goes down into that area. There we have all the dog food and pet supplies and things like that. Here's some cork. Once upon a time I bought cork here. I wasn't too pleased about the quality at the time. Wow, this place is busy. It's busy, considering we are not a good country to be in at the moment. Let me get out of their way. Fire pits, I love it. I love it. Careful around children is all I can say. And pets, and birds. Okay. So this is all new, to me anyway. This used to be all aquariums and everything. I guess they had to make a lot of changes after the lockdown. A lot of changes. This used to all be birds and aquariums. Alrighty, we got kiddos. Let's move away. I still don't know where my personal shopper is. Oh, there she is. So we'll go past the barbecue section. Oh, you know what? Isn't this gorgeous? Look, let me go around. Imagine having a property this size that could accommodate this and you could just hang your vandas and orchids and make it like an orchid gazebo. How about that, huh? Wouldn't that be cool? Now I'm inside it. Look at that. Wouldn't that be a blast? Big vandas. Small little neos. Ooh, look at these statement pieces of concrete. Ooh, they're new. I like it. A lot. Okay, keeping an eye on the areas that I'm used to seeing my pots. And I'm not seeing them. But here we are. Let me tell you about the selection here of orchids. Now you see them. That's it. That's it. Phalaenopsis galore. But other than that, here we go. Photography galore. Here's my cart. But you see, we don't have a big selection. I mean, it's not to say they're not beautiful, but you know, it's not like I can come to the garden center and be uber tempted to buy something and then walk out thinking maybe I shouldn't have done that. In this case I can assure you it's not very important. They're so pretty though. But I don't have to worry about it. I don't. There's no big temptations here. The colors are magnificent but this is what we have in this huge huge space. Anyway so we can get some insidiums and then there's the Miltoniopsis, which is a pointless exercise in our climate. 
So this is what you can get. And that's about it. Now this one is unusual. I haven't seen this one before. This one is unusual. But again, my daughter just had a phalaenopsis in her hand and I'm like, no, no not, not with me. I'm not buying another phalaenopsis. I need to make sure that my collection that I have is actually thriving. I can't do this anymore. Not to myself, not to the plants. But look at this. Isn't this pretty? That is gorgeous, all the spotting there. More white. White, white, white. Everything white, white. Let's see if they have anything on these tables. It's all Phalaenopsis. And then here's the sphagnum moss that they have. And a long time ago, they didn't even have sphagnum moss. So this is what they ordered when I asked them. But honestly, as much as I appreciate their efforts, this doesn't go anywhere. It just falls apart. There is no structure to it at all. So you see more fowls, and this is my garden center. They used to once in a while have a cattleya here and there, but not anymore. And that's understandable. They have been through a lot. Just before they locked down, we came here, as I mentioned, on the 11th of March, and they had just shopped everything for spring. Two days later, they were shut down. No chance. Absolutely no chance. I'm going to go and look for pots. Vale? Vale. So then you have the decoration area. Oh, gorgeous umbrella. That would look better in my garden. Better light. And let's meander over here. I mean, the space is enormous. It's beautiful. But it's quite, you know, it's empty from what I remember. Look at this beautiful wood feature here. Look at this carved feature. How about that? And it just goes on and on. That'll cost you 6,850 euros. Amazing, huh? But look at it. That is quite a statement. And then you can move along here. They've really tried to spread out their products and really make it look into a beautiful, beautiful setting. Watch this. Check this out, guys. Oh, look at these pieces here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The bowl is 1,150 euros. Oh, isn't that gorgeous though? Are you supposed to be a fountain? No, you're just a beautiful bowl. What a bird bath, huh? Can you imagine? Stunning. Absolutely love it. Right, let's weave our way slowly. I hope nobody's getting seasick. And let's go. In this place, I really am like, oh, look at this. And then squirrel. Look at that. Whoop, look at that. Look at that. And then here's like the main hallway and foyer where they have lots of more decoration that you can see beautiful lighting features and this at Christmas this space is like a winter wonderland even though you know we don't really have snow but they go all out they don't stop at anything in comparison to what I remember yes it is empty empty er this pathway is usually like only half the size but we know why and they're doing the best they can but it's busy here today considering that it's supposed to be you know again Spain the boohoo country humans just a moment and then you come out here into the big greenhouse feature look at it 
massive 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 greenhouse and it's beautiful look at that birds of paradise are enormous for 195 euros you can get yourself one of these that's not bad wow when you consider what the orchids cost that thing is bigger than me and I'm six foot all right I'm just trying to weave my way around people so that editing is easier and we'll go back into the big greenhouse structure and but here on the right is all the soils everything that you need fake grass it's awesome absolutely awesome so somewhere here I get my leka and then when you see pebbles like these yeah I need them about a quarter of the size if not smaller so that is absolutely no use to me unfortunately but they don't have small ones and then when you go to aquarium gravel and now there's no aquarium gravel here anymore because we've just seen all the fish are gone so now here they have no more aquarium gravel, which is fine, but that was super expensive. Ooh, look at this pot. Hey, hey, that's cool. Jacuzzi. Yeah. So here's the entire pot section now. And now I kind of want to look and see if I can find mine in white. And it's not these. But these are like Elho self-watering. It's good to see them here. Absolutely great to see them here. 6.75 in euros. I am in southern Spain. Everything is in euros. So 6.75. That's not too bad. Square plates. Oh, we like that. That's a space saver. And guess who found? Guess who found them? Ta da Yay! Okay, we're gonna need the 20s. Five, let's go with five. But we have to find the inner masks. So these are the, from Portugal and I'm very happy to see that they have them. Here, this one, this one. I'm very happy to see they have them. I have mid-size and I have a list actually because I know squirrel when I'm in here squirrel hang on a second oh look they have a square one they they have the square ones that's great and in here i put the dremel and drill two holes and here they have oval ones which are pretty as well i like this too small sweetheart hola que tal bien y usted realmente igualmente and here's all the ceramics. It used to be packed, you guys. I mean, I always used to wonder how can they maintain such stock? But now I understand that it's, there's no point. There's no point. They're so pretty. But they also have to be a bit more careful. All right, let's go over to the right here because I am looking I oh, I'm not I don't have to look anymore we've sorted that out let's go to the rain and we'll come back through the whole facility the big greenhouse section can you imagine owning a greenhouse this size and then they have a gorgeous gorgeous exterior section look at this Ooh, sunshine look at this oh this is heaven I used to come here a lot just to have some eye candy retail therapy and even though I'm not you know buying or anything but just to see the colors and the beauty I used to come here with Thierry walk among the benches touch feel sniff 
all that good stuff. Now there is one plant that I would take home. It's a silver bush if I can find one. They're not, it's not the season. But uh, if I can find one, I can finally plant a second silver bush because mine is clearly not rooting my little cutting that I took back way back when. It just goes on and on. Let's go back to the fruit trees. Hmm. Give me some limes, Margarita, baby. Lemon trees. Ah, palm trees. Heaven. I'm in heaven and my voice is worse behind this mask. Look, here is a silver bush. Oh, but it's very big. I can't do it that big. Let's go back a little further, show you around. Oh, there's a rose of Sharon, a hibiscus. Look, that is so gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And then you can see that huge bougainvillea that we were at. Let me go all the way back here and see if I can find my way through. Look at this bougainvillea back here, I'm just growing by the road. The whole bank is full. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. And that's just growing by the road, as you do. That's a better view. Check it out. From up the top of the embankment, all the way. It has got to be the best bougainvillea display ever. If the fence shows it in focus. Love it. Yeah, this guy did a great thing here. Like I said in the beginning, he has absolutely made lemonade out of lemons. And it breaks my heart that all his work could be undone now just because of some careless people. Beautiful. Oh, the fragrance. What's growing in here? Who are you? little fruit little squishy that's neat more oleander the perfume here is amazing beautiful look ah Woo. and here to the right absolutely fantastic how about a cluster of palm trees bang in the middle look at that up 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 into the canopy now it would be awesome if they could just pack peg some orchids in there but we are not in that climate we're not in that climate and then here's bamboo, which I love. I love bamboo. Let's have a look at the back there. And this is where I'm at. Agro Jardin. How about more birds of paradise? Look at that. And then these little, I think these are so cute. I call them mini oleanders, but I don't think that's what they're called. And there's eucalyptus here somewhere. Woo, there it is. 
This stuff smells great. They use it a lot here in flower arrangements. There's a lot of use of that here. And then more bougainvillea. Why not? They need a little bit of maintenance on their blooms, but I guess right now there's other things to be worried about. My daughter just found something that I thought they didn't have. Yes! She did! Where were they? Hey! They didn't have the same size, but like you, it's like... It's 18. Like, it's no, it's 20, because los 80 queda muy justo. Tienen 18 ahí, pero siempre los quiero un poquito más grande, ¿no? Uh, vamos a ver. Okay. Let me, let me just... Uh, okay. Yeah, she found the inner masks. Now we just have to make sure that I get the right size. I was not familiar with the 20s. So let's just wander over here where there's more shrubs. Oh, and let's go and look at the gara over there. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Wow, electric. You're bright. Look, Gara. I didn't buy my Gara here, but they were this small when I got them as well. And now I've just cut them back a couple of months ago, maybe two, a month and a half or two months ago. And now they're flushing back on their second blooming. I think Gara is so whimsical and so beautiful. We come back through here, right, humans. And it's okay to film that human over there. She's mine. And then you have a whole bunch of tables of herbs and vegetables. And then you just brush your hand through all of this and you can smell the oregano. Everything like the dill and the basil, the mint. So pretty. Look at this. Ornamental chilies. <laughs> Siliana would love those. So in the beginning, I was looking at other baskets, if you saw them, because I'm looking for something like this. And now I need to go and have a look at what I really, really want. Yeah, so I was just ooming and aahing about these. I was looking for these, but I need the handles on the other ones. And they're pretty, and if I can't work with those, I can always get my daughter to bring these. Let me just make sure, size when I send her back. Let's look at some Spanish ceramic pottery. How about... How about this? For your mailbox?
video, video. Well, that was nice. Lots of eye candy. So now we're heading back. My chauffeur was very patient. And credit to the photography, which was lovely. So normally we can do a loop and go back onto the main road. But in this case, we are going down the boonies, under the bridge. This is the river part that I was mentioning earlier, where it can get really wild and flooded. And this used to be all gravel and dirt, so they've cleaned it up, which is important, especially when the flooding happens. And then if you go to the right here, you go straight down to the beach, which is very rocky and stony down there. Ooh, gridlock. And this is a little service road, which should take you down to the beach. And to the left is the main highway. And boy, have these plants grown. Damn. There we go, little properties. And then some people don't know where they're going. Oh, they're waiting for people. Welcome to Spain. We just stop in the middle of an intersection and wait. That's awesome. Without blinking lights. Yes, it took a while until he put his lights on them. That's great. Here's Twiga, permanent companion, making sure that the driver is behaving themselves. There's a tracking device in here. She doesn't know that, but I put a tracking device in there so I can check how she's driving, her speed, if she's being a renegade. Well, now she knows. Sorry about the jiggles. That mountain in the back there is called La Concha. It's like very symbolic for Mabea, which is as we're heading east now, which is at the foot of the mountain is Marbella. You can get up that mountain. You can actually walk up it. I've never done that. I think they would have to carry me up on a stretcher in order to achieve it. It was a long time ago that I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll make it up. Question is, will I come down? <laughs> I have a feeling I've got a Stan Hopia scorching in the sun by now, which is quite concerning, but I have one more stop. So if we were to continue down on this road here, which is our main artery, we would go to San Pedro del Alcantara and to Marbella. But we are not going to do that. We have to go somewhere because I need one more bit of supplies and I hope that Stan forgives me because I did not put any SPV protection, SPF protection on him. Kind of scary. Whoops. Sorry about the garbage cans. That's not pretty. That way, please. Thank you. And as I said, you wouldn't think that Spain was blacklisted as a destination for the summer. There's a lot of people here. A lot. But it would be triple this in August. Alrighty. 
I hope that you enjoyed this little ride and I hope that you will enjoy seeing the videos that come out of my tour of my favorite favorite garden center it was good to see people again see the colors again this is the local dig down here supermarket pharmacy bank all within walking distance it's awesome thank you everybody so very much for watching I really appreciate it I hope to do more of these vlog sessions I'll just have to check and see how this one comes out in order to see what I can improve on. Thank you for your time. Have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.